Well, the infamous Battle of I-10 is here, the 99th edition, no less. And let me tell you, things are heating up as we speak. UTEP versus NMSU, both teams looking for their first win of the season after starting 0-2. NMSU right now in a rewild under new head coach Jerry Kill, something the Miners know a little about after Dana Dimmel took over in 2018 and took them to their best season since 2014 last year. So could the little sibling of sorts in the Aggies cause a ruckus for the Miners? UTEP get off to an early 3-0 lead, putting the pressure on true freshman Gavin Frakes in his first start for the Aggies. But the tip ball off Frakes intercepted by the Miners for the worst possible start for an already struggling Aggie offense. And when you make mistakes or go three and out time and time again, an experienced off offense will make you pay. Hardison with a 13-yard pass to Tyreen Smith. And this time, Hardison with the handoff to Ronald Awatt for the 27-yard touchdown run. Watch him dodge, weave in and out of tackles, and then put on the stiff arm right there for the score. All Miners at this point as they lead 17 to nil. Aggies looking for a spark, and Jerry Kilt injects Juco transfer in QB Diego Pavier just before the half. And the muff punt here in the second half gives the Aggies a chance from within range. And yep, the guy Kill put in to spark something makes it happen. Diago Pavier with the QB keeper for their first points of the game, dodging through Miners off defense to get there. And it would be Pavia again to put the Aggies back within a score to win it in the fourth quarter. Another keeper here from Diego into the end zone to make it 20 to 13. We are in the fourth quarter as we speak right now. Let's send things out to sports director Adrian Ochoa. Adrian, a one score ball game. Where are we at right now? Yeah, uh, hey Rachel, a lot just happened. Diego Pavia just fumbled the ball right now and the Miners recovered. So 20 to 13 and it seems like Miners just gonna kneel it. Go ahead and get out of the way here. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, Aggies were trying to punch it in. Diego Pavia fumbled the ball, Miners recovered. And so here we are taking the knee and there it is. The final score here, 20 to 13, UTEP winning the 99th edition of the Battle of I-10. Again, as I, as I told you, Rachel, as you were giving those highlights, Aggies were trying to punch it in. They had time to make something happen, to hope to try and tie this game. But as I mentioned, Diego Pavia fumbled the ball as he was getting sacked, fumbled it, Miners recovered, and UTEP gonna walk away with a 20 to 13 victory, their first win of the season. Of course, we'll have post-game reaction from both teams on Good Morning El Paso weekend. But for now, Rachel, we'll send it back to you in the studio as the Miners take the dub, their first win of the season, 20 to 13, the final here from the Sun Bowl. You know, sometimes on live TV, things work out. Sometimes they don't. Adrian, that was one of those times things worked out perfectly. Getting to see UTEP win their first game of the season. NMSU going down in the 99th battle of I-10.